Viewer question. Can you talk about the proper way to demote an employee? I'll start out by saying that any manager faced with demoting an employee should not do it with negative personal feelings, leave the employee to feel as though they've been singled out, or make the employee feel belittled or humiliated, especially in front of others. I have to make some assumptions here, so we're going to assume that the company has done the following. Hired a qualified applicant. The new hire did receive a written job description and acknowledge that they understand the duties and, and expectations of the position. If initial training was promised, I must assume that the training has been done, that the employee who did get the training received a satisfactory job performance review as a benchmark. The company has to have a written policy on demoting an employee. The employee should be made aware of that policy and they acknowledge that they received the policy and they understand it and they were able to ask questions. Now, back to the question. Can you talk about the proper way to demote an employee? This is how I would do it. My way is not the only way, but I think it would be a fair way. And we would start out with those assumptions in the beginning. If the manager sees any deficiencies in the employee's job performance, I think management should start documenting it. And they should, management should not wait until the deficiencies become uh, major. I would schedule a short meeting with the employee and we would talk about the job deficiencies that I noticed and it would be just a, a casual conversation. It wouldn't be any type of verbal warning. Employee X, I've noticed you made a number of mistakes this past month. Is there something the company can do to help you reduce the chance of making future errors at work? Something along those lines. Now, when you do something like this, I would, I, I would hope that the employee would feel like as though they're not being singled out. And I would also hope that management would do this to any employee uh, who they believe is uh, experiencing some type of job deficiency, not just single out someone because uh, you have some type of personal issue with that person. If the employee continues to show deficiencies on the job, I would ask for a more formal meeting with the employee with the sole purpose of this meeting being a verbal warning, letting the employee know that their job deficiencies are continuing and you would have some sort of benchmarks, a job performance evaluation of some kind. Whatever those job duties and descriptions were, I would make sure I had those job descriptions written here and I would have some type of performance evaluation here and show how the two are not meeting. If the employee has an explanation of, of how or of, of why they are being deficient in their job duties, I would listen to it. But at the same time, I would make sure that the employee was aware that this is a formal meeting and that it would be a verbal warning. If the company feels that the employee needs training at this point, I would enact training. I would buddy the individual with a more experienced employee who can guide the individual and uh, provide that training with some oversight uh, by management. At this time, if with, with all of this, if the employee continues to show deficiencies, uh, continues to not be able to perform those essential functions on that job description, then I would have to look at other options, either move the person to another job or unfortunately demote the employee. Now, if you have to do any of these things, uh, demote the employee or, or transfer them to another uh, job with less responsibilities, um, I would make sure this will be documented as a form of discipline. In an average scenario, if, if the job isn't critical, or uh, no lives are at stake, I would let this go on for up to 90 days. And that would be 90 days between my first non-formal meeting to me actually having to demote the person. If the employee falls incredibly flat as it relates to not being able to perform the job, then of course I would demote that individual a lot sooner.
with, with, with all of this being said, please do not use demotion as a, as a stalling tactic for terminating an employee. From an employee standpoint, a demotion is a kick in the teeth and you, you've pretty much zapped all of the confidence that person is going to have with regard to doing the job or even improving the job. If the person isn't doing the job and you don't have any other uh, uh, positions that person can go in, uh, please just terminate, let the person go on with their life, let the business go on with its life and save a little dignity and some time with regard to that individual. This is just a general outline as to how I would handle a demotion. Personally, uh, I've never demoted an employee. If the person doesn't do the job, I typically terminate to save time. But this answer is based on just an open-end question. If you've ever had to demote an employee, if you're an employee that ever had to be demoted, please leave your experience in the comment section below. I would love to hear how the experience was like for you. And I'm talking both employer and employee. Just doing this video, it just gives me cringes. And I hope I don't ever have to demote an employee. Thanks for watching. If you want to know more about business operations, business management, human resources, and other topics related to running a business, click on one of those play links. Click on one of these play Click on the playlist. One eternity later. Click on one of these playlists. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe.